Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full face using drugstore makeup slash drugstore makeup transformation slash a one brand tutorial. <laughs> I am gonna be using all products from Koki Professional today. I've been using this brand for forever now. I mean, I first discovered them last spring of 2017 and I love their products. They have a lot of really great affordable dupes for high-end makeup, which I've talked about before on my channel. And I'm really excited to be working with them today. So thank you so much to Koki for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to be working with a brand that I've already been using on my channel like that seriously makes me so happy I've already tried the majority of their products but I actually went to Rite Aid last night to pick up other things that I either needed backups of or things that I haven't tried before to create the look that I'm gonna do today I still don't know what I'm gonna do but we're gonna make it work so I did vlog and bring you guys along with me yesterday when I went to Rite Aid I'll insert the clips right after this intro I just couldn't film an intro in there because it was so crazy in there, there were so many people. My Rite Aid is on a main street in my town, so there's always people in and out, so I was like whispering and hoping people weren't looking at me, but I know that there was a few people walking by, like what is this girl doing? But yeah, I got some really great stuff, so I get to walk you guys through their display at Rite Aid. Koki is available at over 2,200 different Rite Aids, and they're also available online if you guys are interested. So I will leave all the products and all details down below in the description box. Let me know if you guys have tried any of their products and what are your favorites. I always hear really good things about their foundation, which is one of the things that I'm super excited to try out today so I cannot wait so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me to shop and then we're gonna come back and finish up the makeup so I really hope you enjoy don't forget to grab a snack and let's get started so this is the Koki display here at Rite Aid I'm actually pleasantly surprised I've never seen this so fully stocked so I'm really happy about that they have everything here and then they have two sections here on the side so more makeup products and lashes here on this side and then they also have makeup brushes and nail polishes on the other side so let's start shopping okay i'm pretty sure i've tried their brow pencil before like a year and a half or so ago i don't remember which one it was um so i think i'm gonna go with this one right here which is like the angled brow pencil because I think I tried the Precision Brow Pencil, but I really like angled ones with my brows in particular, so I think I'm gonna try this one in the shade Rich Brunette. And you can see the price right here. This retails for $10. Okay, I'm also gonna get this Brow Pomade. This is literally the only one that they have, but this is gonna be my shade. This one is in Dark Brunette. Seven dollars. I've tried this before and I actually really really like it. I never knew that they had brow mascaras I'm gonna get I think should I get dark brown medium brown? I'm gonna get medium brown These are only seven dollars and then I'm gonna get this prep up eyeshadow primer and this one is only seven dollars Okay, so since I'm down here, I'm gonna also pick up this so matte mattifying foundation primer I really love the Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer, and I also really like the Matte Setting Spray. This one's one of my favorites. I'm gonna pick up, I think, also this Hydrating Spray. Maybe I could use this before makeup. I always usually like to have a mixture of like matte and dewy products because I have combo skin. By the way, don't judge me. Those products back there, I did not put them there. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a Be Bright Concealer. I have like two of these at the house right now, but they're like super light shades. So I'm gonna just pick up a shade closer to my skin tone right now because I'm not really into that super bright under eye look. Okay, I'm gonna go with the shade Matte Beige. The other ones that I have are like light and I believe light medium. This one looks really good. All right, I am picking up the Skin Perfect HD Foundation. I have a shade 40W, 60W. I'm hoping that these are gonna be my shade and that I can make them work because I've heard really good things about this and the packaging is like super high end, which I love. This contour kit is my favorite. This is the universal one. I had no idea that they had a deep dark one, which I think is really good for my medium and darker skin guys and gals. But if you were lighter skin tone or mine, I think you would really like this one. So I already have it, so I'm not gonna get it but it retails for $13. You guys know I'm obsessed with translucent powders, so I'm gonna go with this one, the Natural Translucent. They also have some color correcting ones, which I think are really cool. These Blush Up blush kits are beautiful. I absolutely love them. They have four different ones. I have one at the house, I don't remember which one I have, but I'm gonna go with a bronzy tone one because I'm obsessed with bronzy shades. This one is in Demure. I'm gonna grab a new eyeliner. I have their Velvet Smooth Eyeliner. I don't see it here. It's like the nude one. One of my favorites. Oh, it's right here, Champagne. I love this one for the waterline, but I already have it, so I think I'm gonna go with something, like maybe a black one, yes, Deepest Black. 
And then I'm also going to get the shade bronzed because I love these like bronzy brown tones with my brown eyes. I think it complements them really well. I'm also going to grab a mascara for the top and bottom lashes. This is the volume and length one. Alright, let's move into lips. So I've tried a few of their lip products. Every single thing that I've tried from them I really, really love. Their lip liners are the Bomb Diggity Warm Nude. That's my jam. Love that color. I think I'm going to actually get a backup. Or actually, let me get the shade Nude because I've never tried it before. And I'm also going to get the shade True Red because I think for this time of year, we all need the perfect red. This lip veneer cream lip gloss formula is to die for. I absolutely love it. I forget, oh, the shade Invincible. This is the shade that I used to use all the time. This one with Warm Nude is the perfect nude gloss. That was like my favorite lip combo last summer. So today, I think I want to do like a red, like a red glossy lip. I think that would be gorgeous. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting like red and nude because I'm not really sure what's going to look good with the look that I'm doing. Their Kissable Matte Liquid Lipstick is also a really nice formula. Very comfortable on the lips. I featured, I believe, one of these before in a dupes video that I did and I really, really like it. So since I've tried the matte liquid lips before, I'm going to try one of the matte lipsticks, which I've never used. And sticking with the red, I think I'm going to get this bright color. They also have some vampy shades as well, but I'm trying to match it with the lip liner. So this one is in Candy Apple, and then I'm going to get a nude as well. Um, and I think I'm going to go with the shade that's kind of pinky. Let's go with this one, which is in Sienna. I almost forgot a highlighter palette, so I'm going to get this one, which is Get the Glow Strobing Palette. I've never tried this before, so I'm super excited. So I came across these duo metallic shadows. I've never seen these before, and I think I'm going to get the shade Gone Platinum, which is like a really pretty silvery white. And their eyeshadow palettes I've actually tried before. And I have all of these palettes from their artist collection. Love them. And these retail for $13. I'm going to be using these when I film my look. Finally, I am in the makeup brush section. They also have nail polishes. But you guys know I get my nails done. But they have a lot of variety here. Which I think is really nice. But I'm going to just get, I think, one makeup brush. Or maybe two. Um, this blending brush looks like super intriguing. This one is the blender brush. And this one is $10. And then this brush actually looks pretty good too. It's like a white haired brush. I think I'm gonna get this one. Maybe I'll get a smaller one. Got my cart full of goodies. Now it's time to pay and head home and start filming. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have all of my products here. I don't know exactly the look that I'm going for today. So I'm going to start off with my brows, of course. I'm going to be outlining them with this high brow angled eyebrow pencil. And this one's in the shade Rich Brunette. I love their packaging. It's so cute. It's like black and white with a little elephant. It's very sleek. Yeah, I love this like really nice angled tip that it has right here. You see like it's like literally like a brow definer and I think this shade is going to be perfect for me so I'm literally just going to take this and outline the brows see that defined tip makes it super easy to fill them in and it also comes with a spoolie on the end which I really like I like it. I really like the formula of it because it's creamy, but it's not like too stiff. Really, really nice. And I'm pretty picky with brow pencils because my brows are so like not the best. So I have to really like work with my brows, but this is really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I have actually used this brow pomade before. I really like it. This one is in dark brunette as well. This is actually a really good size pomade. I love how satisfying that looks. Like it literally looks like chocolate pudding. Yeah, this is a good color for me. And I got a brow gel that's a little bit lighter, so if they look a little too dark, that's okay. But my hair is really dark right now, so that works. Or should I say my roots? Because the bottom of my hair is light, but my roots are pretty dark still, so good. And I'm going to clean up the edges of that, so don't worry. But I love the feeling of a new pomade. The pomades that I have in my collection, they're all pretty old, so this feels super creamy. And it just glides on. I'm going to be picking up the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I'm going to use this later, but I'm just going to use a little bit on the back of my hand right now just to clean up the brows. I get a lot of questions as to what the point of me doing this is. It just cleans up the brows. That's just the best way for me to describe it. It just makes them look more precise and just cleaner. Sometimes I will make them maybe a little bit too thick or I'll go like outside of my brows and they just kind of look 
not even not the best so doing this it just literally transforms the brows at least in my eyes and sometimes i get the concealer on the brow but that's okay i just cleaned all of my makeup brushes and it feels so good like that's one of the best feelings is using clean brushes to do your makeup Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and prime and I'm gonna use the Prep Up Eyeshadow Primer. I've also used this before, but my mindset has changed totally with eyeshadow primers. I used to not be a fan of them, but now I like wanna try them all because I feel like they really make your eyeshadow pop more versus just using concealer on your lids. So I'm gonna apply this all over. I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out because my nails are really long and I need to get them filled again. definitely first world problems. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm gonna be using the Artist Palette in Peachy Queen. This one is by far my favorite, of course, because it's a bunch of warm tones. They have two other Artist Palettes as well, which are beautiful. Obviously, it just depends on the type of shades that you're looking for. This one, of course, is just screaming me. So I'm gonna start off with that soft brown-ish color, and I'm gonna be applying that in my crease. And I'm actually gonna be using the Koki 627 blending brush to really buff that in there. I also love the fact that these palettes have mirrors. It makes it so easy and super convenient, especially when filming. So I like that a lot. I'm gonna just take this shade and really build it up. But as always, I like to start off with a little bit of product and gradually build it up. I've used a few of their brushes and I love them. With the same brush, I'm gonna be using the sort of like light reddish brown color in there, tapping off the excess, and I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna start running that also in the crease area, kind of where I just applied that other color. I'm gonna use a white hair brush now and I'm gonna take that same shade that I was just using. I'm gonna emphasize that a little bit more. This brush is a little bit smaller than what I just used, so. Sorry, I keep looking down. I just wanna make sure that I'm still recording and that I'm in focus. My camera has been kind of like stopping out of nowhere. I don't know what's wrong with it, I hope that I don't have to get a new one soon, but sometimes it just stops recording, so I always have to be double checking. Okay, I'm gonna take the shade right next to it on the same brush. Now I'm kind of thinking, should I just do a halo smoky eye? Let's do it. Then I'm going to use the Koki 610 brush. This is a flat white haired brush and I'm going to be taking that dark brown in the palette and I'm going to start packing that on in the inner part of my lid. Also on the outer part as well. I'm gonna try to leave the lid area blank, but if it's not, that's totally fine because I'm gonna go over top with a glitter anyway, but. Okay, then I'm going to add some glitter. I'm gonna use the Duo Metallic Shadow, and this one is in Gone Platinum. So what's really cool about these is, I was kind of playing with these last night, so the top part of it, when you open it up, is kind of like a cream shadow type of thing, but that's like the base and what the glitter is gonna to stick to. So you don't have to get glitter glue or anything. It's kind of like a two-in-one product. And so then when you open up the bottom portion, it is the glitter in here. So what I'm gonna do, since I have long acrylics, I'm gonna just take the top part of it and I'm going to start applying that to the center portion of my lid. Just 
just like that. And I'm gonna blend it out. I'm just kind of applying the base there now. And then I'm gonna take the glitter on the same brush. Oh, do you see how intense that is? I literally just used the tiniest amount. Oh my goodness, crazy, right? Like, so crazy. Now I wanna go back and get all the colors because this is beautiful. Just kind of literally tapping the edges of the shadow to blend in with the rest. Okay, so I'm actually now blending out the edges with the flat shader brush. I should've just said that from the beginning because it's blending out the product better since it has leftover product on it. I love how this silver mixes with the burgundy. It kind of creates like a blue brown shade and I love it, so really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with my Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in Deepest Black to line my upper waterline. So I just lift my lid slightly and apply that. Oh, this is very black. I've only ever used the nude one, but this is nice. And I'm gonna apply a quick coat of mascara. I'm gonna use the volume and the length mascara, and this one is in black. It says zero clumps, adds length and volume, and it's smudge proof. They also had a waterproof version. I personally never used waterproof mascara. Like, I just don't like it. But what's funny is my cousin, she doesn't like to use regular mascara. She always is like, if I give her a mascara, she's like, do you have a waterproof version? I don't know why I smell everything, you guys. Um, some people were asking me in my last couple of videos, like, it's so weird. Why do you smell everything? I'm like, I don't know. It's like, I guess a bad habit too, because I even do it with food. And since I'm doing a halo look, I'm not going to do any winged liner. I just want to really keep the focus on the eyeshadow and like the glitter that I use. So what I'm going to do is just pop on some lashes and then we'll move into the skin. So I will see you guys in one second. <laughs> okay, lashes are on. I feel like already the look has just come together with the lashes. Moving into the skin, I'm going to start off with a favorite of mine that you guys know I've been using for forever now. This is the Smooth Glow Hydrating Foundation Primer. This primer is so beautiful on the skin. It kind of feels like a really light gel moisturizer. It smooths the skin it hydrates it but it doesn't feel oily so I like to apply this whenever my skin just needs a little bit of a pick-me-up so I've just been applying this all over my skin but I saw this yesterday and I was like I have to try this this is the so matte mattifying foundation primer so I'm gonna use this just on my forehead because I just don't feel like I need such a mattifying primer so like right in between the brows I'm gonna use a small brush to kind of rub this in just because like my nails wow it literally like absorbed all the oil do you see so then i also did pick up this refresh hydrating setting spray it doesn't say that it's a primer spray but i'm gonna just spray my face before and after my makeup because why not there's no rules to makeup i really love their matte their fix it up matte setting spray that one is literally amazing one of my favorites i feel like that's a dupe for like high-end setting sprays on the market right now and it's so affordable all right, now for foundation. I've heard really good things about this Skin Perfect HD foundation. So I am gonna start off with a little bit of shade 40W and I'm gonna mix it with 60W. So this says it's a mid coverage natural finish foundation that offers flawless, high def, perfect in every light. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be a good color for me. I have this foundation but one of the shades is like way too light and the other one's way too dark. Like even me mixing them, it doesn't work for me. So I've been really curious to try this out. And like I said, all of the Koki displays that I've been to, they're always sold out at the foundation. So I was really surprised that when I went to Rite Aid, they had everything stocked up. So I'm gonna be using my 618 foundation brush. If you guys have been with me for a while, you know that this is my favorite foundation brush. It makes your skin look so airbrushed super full coverage but like just so flawless like oh my gosh i love it so much so really packs on the product without absorbing any of the product also which i really like because a lot of foundation brushes will just soak up everything so i love this brush and also as you can see it just blends out the foundation literally instantly 
So if you're on the go, this is perfect. I have more on the back of my hand, which I'm going to apply because we have a full glam here today, so I want some full coverage. Oh yeah, and its color is like really good, which I like. I really like how natural it is. Like it's just a very natural medium coverage. It is building up really nicely though, but definitely on the natural side, which I like because I don't like my foundations for it to look like I have makeup on, you know what I mean? Like it looks like your skin, but better. All right, now for concealer, I'm gonna go back into the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer, and this one is again in shade medium beige. And I'm gonna use a sponge to blend it out. Then to set, of course, you guys know I'm obsessed with the translucent powder and I got this one in natural translucent. Oh, kind of looks like it has a... <laughs> I just dropped the powder. <laughs> I, what I was trying to say was it kind of looks like it has a banana yellowy tint. That was so rude. I feel like I like a lot more translucent powders like in my makeup collection now versus before more just from using it with a sponge. Like I don't like to use translucent powder with a brush anymore. It just, I feel like it doesn't look good. Sometimes it looks splotchy. It looks really dry and cakey. So if you ever have issues with translucent powder, maybe if you have one and you don't like it, try it with a damp sponge and like make sure you wring all the water out and I'm talking about use it after you use your foundation and concealer because you don't want it to be like soaked. You literally want it to be like slightly damp. Press the powder in like I just did with that. I'm telling you it makes a huge difference Like I have so many powders that I was gonna get rid of because I just didn't like them And then I used it with a sponge and I was like, oh my god, this looks so good Okay, so I'm gonna just finish up the skin now that I'm here So I'm gonna be contouring bronzing the skin with my powder contour palette This is in fact the dupe for the Kat Von D shade and light palette I said this in my October favorites, but save your money and just get this because it works I mean, in my opinion, better for the price. And I mean, the colors are super buttery, they're smooth, they're creamy, and I really, really like them. So I'm gonna be using a 600 brush, and I'm gonna use the two lightest shades just because I'm really fair right now. I'm gonna just start off by bronzing first, very lightly. I literally just use the lightest amount of product because a little bit of this will go a long way. It just creates like such a natural shadow and the colors in here, they're like a little bit cool tone so they're really nice for contouring but they're not muddy or ashy on the skin. I normally don't like cool tones but this is like a really good mix of cool and warm tones. And I'm gonna use a 620 brush and I'm gonna use the same exact shades but I'm gonna really concentrate them in the hollows of the cheeks. This is a really nice brush. You could use this for contouring. You could use this for setting underneath your eyes if you still use like a pressed powder. All right, now for blush, I'm gonna use the Blush Up palette. This one is in Demure. I've never tried this one before. This is very different than what I normally go for, but I figured since I'm really fair, now actually with this eye look, I think it'll match perfectly just because it is more of a rosy color. I'm gonna just mix all three shades because I feel like mixing the three will kind of just balance all of them out just because it goes from like light to medium dark. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's like, literally like a blush color like you're blushing like you go outside and it's cold and it just looks very natural like a flush on your cheeks i like that oh almost forgot to set my brows oh my gosh i always i don't know why i always just miss this step i am going to be using the brow mascara this is the tinted brow gel in medium brown oh yeah this is nice this is a nice formula i've never tried this before Oh, this is nice. I think it's a good color, too, because my brows do look pretty dark right now, but this is good. I'm going to be moving into highlight, of course. So I'm going to be using the Strobing Palette, another product that I've never tried before. I think today I'm just going to mix these three colors, and I'm going to save the light shade for the brow bone just because I feel like it's a little too light for my skin at the moment. Now, Strobing Palette, so I'm getting the idea that this is going to be more natural just because I know that a lot of strobing products aren't like super super intense you know what I mean 
but this is very pretty. It kind of reminds me of like those highlights that you would use on a very natural day, like you want to glow from within type of thing. Because see, it's not like it's really pretty, but it's not like a glittery, chunky, beamy, beamy, beaming highlight. But you can build it up as you can see. So I actually like that. I think this highlights like this are really pretty if you have a lot of texture or you just don't like to glow a lot. You know, I know a lot of people aren't into that overly dramatic highlighted look. So I'm gonna set my face really quick. Now, I didn't see this in stores in Rite Aid. I just have this in my collection. This is the Set and Forget Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I love this stuff. Again, the Fix It Up Matte Setting Spray is also really amazing, but I really, really love this one too. So I'm gonna just spray my face really quick. And since my face is wet, I'm gonna add more highlight. See how pretty that is? Oh, I like that a lot, actually. I like how it can be really natural, but really intense as well. All right, sticking with the highlighter palette, I'm gonna just use the white color in here, and I'm gonna be applying that in the inner corner and brow bone. Because it's silvery, so I feel like, oh yeah, that really looks good with the silver that we have going on on the lids. I like that a lot, actually. Let's emphasize that of even dragging that a little bit on the lower lashes you see the difference of how like open that inner corner highlight makes the eyes like literally can never miss this step doing the inner corner and brow bone highlight is probably one of my favorite things about doing makeup besides my foundation so then what i'm going to do is finish up the lower lashes of course sticking with the peachy queen palette i'm going to be using pretty much the same colors i was using in the crease so i'm going to start off with that brown red color and i'm going to apply that on my lower lash line I'm gonna drag it up towards the crease as well just to blend the two together and kind of connect the crease to the lower lashes. I think I wanna do a cream on the waterline just to really make the other reds and browns pop. So I'm gonna use another Velvet Smooth Liner and this one is in Champagne. All right guys, so the final thing that I did was of course my lip color. I feel like the look really came together with this nude lip and I am honestly living for it. So the first thing that I did was line my lips with the retractable lip pencil in nude. This is super creamy. I've used these in the past and you can use them on their own and just top it off with a lipstick or a gloss and they're super comfortable. So I love that. Then I topped that off with the matte lipstick in Sienna. I've actually never used these before, but I want to go back and get like all the shades because this is such a creamy but matte formula and I think matte lips are beautiful so I wanted to keep it matte but then I was like okay I gotta add a gloss I've been really into glossy lips lately so I went over top with the lip veneer cream gloss in legend and this is a really nice formula it's not goopy it's not thick it's not sticky it's very creamy very opaque and pigmented and this nude color I feel like is gonna be my new favorite jam like this is beautiful and I feel like this with the eyes really makes everything come together nicely and pop I love this but of course yesterday I went and I decided to go with a red lip because I wasn't sure of the look that I wanted to do today so I figured I would show you guys another option as well if you wanted to be bold this is a true glossy red lip and I love it so first I started off with the same retractable lip liner this one is just in the shade true red I'm pretty much using the same exact lip products just different shades and then I topped that off with the matte lipstick in candy apple the good thing about red obviously it makes your teeth look super white and this red is like literally the perfect red for everybody it's very universal and and then I think glossy red lips are gorgeous. It makes your lips look so juicy. And so I went over top with the lip veneer cream gloss in mistress and that is the other lip combo that you could do obviously i would choose the nude just because i love staying in my comfort zone and i feel like the eye look though is super bold so ideally i would probably do a glossy red lip with like some winged liner and lashes but yeah i just wanted to show you guys those options as well so that completes this look i really hope you guys enjoyed it i personally loved all the products that i used i mean a lot of this stuff i already had in my collection but a lot of the new things that i used including the makeup brushes were amazing and i don't really have any issues 
leaves. I think this look is definitely one of my new favorites. I think my favorite thing that I tried today that was new is definitely gonna have to be these duo metallic shadows. I did not expect these to be as pigmented as they were. Like I was like, oh my God, this literally looks like something high end. So I'm very, very surprised with that. And I'm so happy that I got them. I wanna go back and get like all the shades as well in that. And I also really like the matte lipstick. I think this is a really nice formula, but yeah, everything else I love. The foundation also I think looks really natural and very pretty on my skin. I like how it's buildable coverage, but super pretty. So I hope you guys like the look as much as I do. I will leave all the products that I use down below. Thank you once again to Koki for sponsoring this video. I love you guys and I will see you in a few days in my next one. Bye.